They arrived still believing the killer should have been charged with murder, but not really expecting the review to agree with them, and it didn't. Valdo Calacane had a severe mental illness, said the CPS chief inspector, so prosecutors were right to accept his reduced plea of manslaughter with diminished responsibility. We're disappointed, but not entirely surprised. Until the law changes in this country, the diminished responsibility um, uh, charge and plea uh, means that murderers can get away with murder. In Nottingham, Callacane stabbed three victims. He was sent to a secure hospital for treatment indefinitely. If he'd been charged with murder and convicted, it would have meant life in prison, a proper punishment in the family's eyes. In a hijacked van, he tried to run down three more people. He didn't stop until police arrested him. Finally, it was over. He'd killed students Grace O'Malley Kumar, Barnaby Webber and school caretaker Ian Coates. Mr Coates' family were later left out of a key meeting with prosecutors. It just added to the, the rail room and that the other families have suffered. They were obviously informed of the decision they were going to take with the diminished responsibility, which they wholeheartedly didn't agree with, like ourselves. Uh, and we felt that we were learning it at the last minute as well, so we didn't have an opportunity to say no or question it. In September 2021, Calacane was sectioned under the Mental Health Act. On the way to hospital, he hit a police officer. Months later, he allegedly assaulted a flatmate. He was detained again in a mental health centre. Both times he was released to be managed in the community. Later that year, a warrant was issued for his arrest. He was still wanted for attacking the police officer. He was never arrested and was still a wanted man in June last year when he carried out the Nottingham attacks. The CPS chief inspector urged the government to reconsider an old idea, categorising murder charges. Currently, there is murder, which obviously is what this individual did, and manslaughter. That actually is very difficult to understand, and therefore the government need to think whether we should be moving into, as the Law Commission said, first-degree murder, second-degree murder, manslaughter. In coming weeks, the families have other battles for justice as they see it. Reviews into what police and health chiefs could have done to keep Calacane off the streets and free to kill their loved ones. Martin Brunt, Sky News.